watch out. He will definitely oh. horn in on your business.
PhD. Look at you. Mr. Hornby, look who's here. I'll call you right back. Whoa! Good golly, Miss Molly. Look what the cat drew again. How are you? Does Cheryl know you're here? Uh-uh. Oh, well, you just missed her 15 minutes ago. And she's not going to be back till late afternoon. Where's Dad? You went by the house? Yeah, nobody there. Well, he's at Chillicote. What the hell's he doing there? We thought it would be best. He's just not himself anymore. We. Oui. Come by the house tonight for dinner. Cheryl. Sweet thing, would you please get my wife on the phone right now? God. First one on the right. Thanks. All right, thank you, Donna. If you need that, you'll enjoy it. You'll love it. Now, Junior? let's go through hmm? the big 35. Hey, hey, Junior! Hey, hey there! Hey. hey, how you been doing? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Them nurses are mean. Hmm? We'll just have to see about that. Such a dolly party, Angela. Yeah, I love her. Fine Christian lady. That's why the Lord blessed me with such abundance. She sang. She sings a song in every show. She does a religious song, and it's not for show. She does it from her heart. You know what I mean? Where's my daddy, Junior? He's outside. We're out there. He's playing with them birds. Yeah, I'll see you later, Junior, right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you later. The foundation of this earth. So you read in the beginning, God created it all into existence. What you doing up there? Just trying to stay above the crowd. What are you doing down there? Trying to get by without shoving. So how you been doing? I've been making it. No use complaining. You've been gone a long time. Yeah, I've been chasing them white lines on the highway. You know the worst thing about getting old? No, sir. Getting old. Seen Cheryl. Yes, sir. I'm supposed to go over there tonight for dinner. I sure didn't hear it like pasteboard. But most of these old goats in here don't taste horse smell, so it don't make any difference anyway. So where you been? Going down the road. Honky Tonk Life, huh? So why are you here? Eh, I figured I'd take a break. If you're hurting or you wouldn't be here. Yeah, a little bit. Looks like you're doing a first-class job of wrecking yourself. Oh, thanks. And why are you walking funny? 
That's how I walk. Sorry if you think it's funny. <laughs> Still got that same old attitude, ain't you? You got any money? Yes, yeah, some. Why, you need some? Yeah. Bring me a fifth of Jack Daniel. What, you have that in here? If I could do what I wanted, I wouldn't be in here. Been out of place? Yes, sir, I thought I would. How does it look? Lonely. <laughs> How long are you going to be here? Yeah. I don't know. Kind of depends. Well, you know where to find me. Hello, H.D. I didn't know you were here. I didn't know you were back. Just got in today. Gonna be staying? I don't know. Sounds like you. What are you looking for? Kind word. Well, I haven't had to nice talk anyone in a long time. Have you seen you? I live here. You have a party? It's good to see you. Howdy. Make yourself at home, please. Let me fix your drink. What are you drinking? No, I never touch the stuff. How come? Yeah. Screws up your personality. Hmm. Well, you been out to the restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, I was out there this afternoon. Yeah. It's a nice place to retire. With all those nice people taking care of you. Pathetic. The rooms are nice. Yeah, sure. You don't mind the smell of piss. Come on. Get out of here. Your old man put up a good fight on this. But you've got to face the cold, hard facts sometime. Oh, hell, H.D., I know you hate seeing him out there. None of us like it. But believe me, I think it's the best thing. I think it's best for all of us. And besides, he's got friends out there. You know, Junior... Yeah, I've known Junior my whole life. Well, then you know what I mean. He's great company for Jesse. Well, hell yes. There's nothing I'd like better than talking to Junior all day. <clears throat> so, are you hungry? I am. I've been running like an ape with his ass on fire all day. <laughs> I saw Daddy today. How was he? 
He was up a tree. You know, there's a good deal of interest on that land your dad owns. Now, I think you ought to talk to the real estate boys while you're still around here. Well, what for? Well, it doesn't hurt to talk. No, it doesn't hurt to talk. Well, ain't my land. Hey, Steve, I know you're tired of hearing this, but Jesse's getting old. How was he today? I don't understand why he's there. You don't understand? No, I don't. Well, let me run this by you. Does he sound like the kind of a man that could take care of himself? I know he's getting old. I know he rambles and forgets. Is that any reason to put him in that goddamn place? Now you're talking about selling his land like he was dead. He ain't dead. He's alive. Who the hell do you two think you are anyway? Well, I think that I'm his daughter. And I think that I've been the one here looking after him while you've been off playing cowboy somewhere. I knew you'd accuse me. I knew you would. I knew you would. I ain't accusing nobody of nothing. I just want to know what the hell's going on. I'll tell you what the hell's going on. Cheryl has been through a lot with him. That's going to take some time, but you're going to get used to it. Trust me. For what's in your life, just trust me. H.D., I tried everything. I did. I, I hired a woman to go out there and cook and clean for him. You know, kind of watch after the place. But no, he ran her off. And then I, I brought him here and... God, you should have seen the two of them at the dinner table together. He did everything but sit in my food. And you know that I'm not one of Jesse's favorites. He forgets things, H.D. He's not who he used to be. Is that right? Well, then, who is he? How long are you going to be around here anyway? A while. Long enough to mend. You're still riding bulls. Aren't you through with that? You know, it's a big mistake to stay at the fair too long. The smartman's quit. It's over when it's over. Don't leave. H.T., please, just stay for supper. Did you even bother to go out and feed Jeter? We looked everywhere for that dumb dog of yours. Yeah, well, he'd probably run off. I'll be scared he was going to kill a goddamn restaurant. No, I, I got a teenage son. His friends don't ever seem to think it's too late. Girl, I've heard the opposite all day. What do you mean? Eh, it don't matter. Just a lot of things have changed. That's 
right. I have. I was, um, I was wondering, maybe we could have dinner? Hold on. I don't think so, H.D. You know, it's really hard for me to get away at night. Maybe lunch, then. No, that's worse. Well, you tell me. You must have a few minutes to give an old friend. Look, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get everyone in bed right now. It's real hard. I'd just and, like um, to spend a little time with you, you know, talk about things. Would you guys not knock it off, please? I'm trying to talk on the phone. Help! Shut up! H.G., hey, this is really bad time for me. Well, Jolie, I don't want to shove you or nothing. I mean, if it, if it ain't... Okay, um... Uh-huh. Well, Becky, you know, my daughter, well, she's, um, she's in this little dance class, and... Well, they're performing at the park on Saturday, and, well, there's going to be a lot of people there, and, and I'll be there, and, well, I don't know, I mean, you could show up. It's 2 o'clock. a dance in the park. I gotta go. Bye. Welcome home, H.T. Misty, did you get that poison ivy at yesterday's church picnic? Oh, and the bad part is, is that my boyfriend got it too. And he wasn't even there. Hey, I saw you on TV. Yeah, he watches everything, worse than some kid. Ain't nothing wrong with watching TV. 
There is when you're in the same room with it going day and night. He said that all the people that are on TV are whores. That ain't very nice of him, is it? They can't hear him. What'd you bring me? All right, Junior, time for shampoo. Oh, I don't want to. He hates to get his hair washed, but it has to be done. I don't want to do it. Every week it's a fight. I'll be back. <laughs> Damn, don't lie, don't want to help me. <laughs> Will she remember? Of course she'll remember. She'll be back. Lord, he ain't get his hair water. <laughs> They'll both be soaking wet by she gets done. How is it? <sighs> Tastes just like it used to. <laughs> hey, brought some dominoes. Figure we might have a little fun. Not in this nut house. Am I? Sure wish I could get out of this place. Well, what's stopping you? You want to go? Let's go. You really mean that? Sure, I mean it. Let's go. Right now? Right now. <laughs> Junior, uh, come on with us. Uh -huh. my, my roommates all, always leave me, but I always stay. Uh, I'm ready. Uh -huh. Let's get out of here before that old witch comes your yeah. sister. Don't forget to wash your hair! Joe. Hey, H.D., how you doing? Man, I didn't know you was in the service. It's just something to do. You look about the same. Mean. <coughs> What'd you do, arrest my dog? Just feeding him. Oh, cheater. Come here, boy. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Virgil. No problem. I think I'm out here to bring your dog back. You didn't come out here to visit either, did you? There's folks looking for you, shotgun. Oh, yeah. I knew it. There's a report out that your daddy was kidnapped. Kidnapped? <laughs> Man, we just left. Yeah. Sometimes you ought to tell somebody, H.D. What the hell for? It's up to him if he stays there. Cheryl. She's upset. Yeah, she probably is. This is my house, and I'm not leaving. It's all right, me, Miss Dalton. I really don't know what was going on. Ah, uh, it's just a family matter, Virg. <laughs> I'd rather go up to serial killers get in the middle of family squabble. There ain't gonna be no squabble. I'll talk to Cheryl. I'm sure glad to hear you say that, because here she comes. Hold on, Cheryl. No, Virgil. You've done your job. It's a family matter. From here on out, just stay out. What do you think you're doing? You scared the hell out of me. Have you gone crazy or what? Of all the stupid things I have ever heard, I hope the rest home presses charges. I do. You ought to be locked up. You ought to be in jail somewhere. Who the hell died and made you, boss? I'm talking to don't you, girl. Don't touch me. You shut up and listen. He don't belong in that place. It'll kill him. Well, who's going to take care of him? Me. You. Yeah, me. You can't take care of yourself. What are you going to do, sell that precious pickup truck of yours? Yeah, you'll take care of him. You'll take care of him until you tramp off to some damn rodeo, and then it's my problem. Don't you worry about it. I'll take care of him. You're both crazy, you know that? You're going to start fighting like cats and dogs the minute you start reliving the past. Come on, Daddy. He ain't going nowhere. Stay right there. That one more to the pit. 
Is everything okay? No, everything's not okay. They're both crazy. Dad, are you going back to Chillicotte? Oh, no. H.D. here is going to play nursemaid. Are they going to sleep here together? I don't know, Clint. But you can bet one thing. When the trouble starts, I'm going to be the one that hears about it. I don't know what's going on here. But if you want my opinion, well, thank you. Thank you very much for your attention, gentlemen. You want me? You know where to find me. It's like talking to two uncaged badgers. Sure! Damn it. It's not one thing, it's another. I guess I handled that situation pretty well. <laughs> Shotgun! Huh. I ain't seen you sack like that since I seen you here. <laughs> hey, Steve. Welcome home. Thanks, Virgil. It's Belt. See you, Virgil. Haven't you shaved yet? No, sir. I was waiting till you was done in here. I always shave first. First thing every morning. I'd rather be caught out without my pants than to start the day without shaving. Uh-huh. What the hell is that? Well, this is throwaway razor. You use those little old cheap throwaway razors? Yes, sir. Send me a log against them. Uh-huh. I heard they weren't any good anyway. Oh, they're all right. They don't cost much. You just use them a few times and throw them away. Sounds like progress to me. Uh-huh. Of course, there never was anything better than a straight-edge razor. Uh-huh. Now, when did you start shaving that way? What way? Well, crossways like you were doing there. I always stick to a smooth up-and-down stroke. Well, when did you start that? I don't... Oh! What did you do, cut yourself? No, that's why I'm bleeding. Well, now, you don't need to get smart, Ellicky. I didn't teach you to shave that way. It's those damn little old things there, they'll do it every time. What the hell are we talking about? Shaving, I thought. Why don't you go feed Jeter? I've already fed Jeter. Ow! God! Razor about chewed you up, didn't it? Yes, sir. What are you getting all dooted up about? Yeah, I'm going into town. Now, you don't need to get all gussied up to go into town. Well, that's right. I'm going to see a little girl dance in the park. Well, hell, if you don't want to tell me, just say so. You want to ride to town with me? Nope. You're sure? Yep. Well, you're welcome to come along. Go on, I'll be all right. Be good to have a little peace and quiet. You're sure? Yep. Be back in a couple hours. Don't hurry. The tug, tug, say goodbye. The tug, tug, say don't hurry. Don't cry. Which one's yours?
first. The prettiest. Uh-huh. No, she's the tallest one in center. Tootsie, goodbye. Tootsie, don't cry. The choo-choo train that takes me. Tootsie, goodbye. The choo-choo train that takes me. Away from you, no words can tell how sad it makes me. Kiss me, Judy, and then do it over again. Becky, this is Becky. Becky, this is H.D. He came by here today to see you dance. Hi, Becky. I loved you. <laughs> H.D., this is my son, Judd. Judd? Judd, you and Becky got a ride with the Johnsons. I'm going to visit with H.D. and pick up some groceries. That's okay with you. Mm-hmm. You watch Becky for me? Great. I won't be long. I won't be long. Excuse me. Great looking kid. Yeah, thanks. Judd gets a little sullen sometimes. I guess it's hard living with two females. Yeah, I guess he misses his dad. Sorry to hear about Ed's accident. It must have been horrible. Yep. It was horrible. I don't really want to talk about it. Why don't you tell me what's going on with you? Seems like old times. You, me, and a pickup. That was a different time. I was a different person. It was the same to me. You stick them in the microwave for about four minutes and boom, got a meal. Ought to be a law against it. Can't cook it yourself, shouldn't eat it. Well, it looks like you're a real gourmet. Damn straight, I'm an expert. That hamburger's all over the country. Trick is, paste them in beer, smother them in garlic, just a touch of chili sauce. Joel, you ever think about getting old? Give me a break. What do you think I'd look like after 14 years? No, I'm talking about you. I mean, just plain getting old. I got two kids. I don't have time to think about that. There ought to be a law against it. Against what? There ought to be a damn special police force that when you get too old, they just come and arrest you and throw your ass in one of them old age homes. At least then when you got stuck there, you know what your crime was. Got a lot on your mind, don't you, H.D.? She... Do you think that maybe we could have a real date? I mean, like for dinner or something? Oh, God. You sound like a sap team. Sorry I said anything to get the whole thing. Didn't mean it. You're still something else. You make me laugh. I'll go out on a real date for dinner. Or something. Go on. Come on.
hadn't eaten all day, and there was nothing in the house. And you were gone. I told you I'd be back in a couple hours. Been longer than that. Well, I stopped off to get some things. Well, I was starved. Well, we got plenty now. It wasn't going to be long. Well, it was long enough for him to get hungry. or something to eat, or maybe he's confused. He needs to know what day it is. Then I'll be here. No, you won't. You'll be here until you can rodeo again, and then you're going to be gone. I know you, H.D. You're selfish. You think you're too good to work like everybody else. You don't care what happens here. If I didn't care, I wouldn't have broke him out. Broke him out? God, listen to you. You sound like you've just pulled off some great romantic escapade. Well, just grow up. What the hell's the matter with you, sis? I'm through life. It's your life, fine. But what you have done here is so typically irresponsible, and I know who's going to have to pick up your mess when you're gone. It's usually it's going to be me. Cheryl, I promise you, I'm going to see this one through. How? Are you going to take him with you? You know, you either got to get a day job or you have to go back to rodeo, and in either way, he is a problem. I don't know. I'll work it out. Just, just don't give up on him. He never quit on us. H.D., he cannot take care of himself. He needs a babysitter. He ain't an old pair of boots going to Goodwill. He's a hero. He's my hero. You know, put away your heroes. Oh, really? Well, tell me, what do you do with them when they are old and sick and tired and worn out and unable to function anymore? You honor them, Cheryl. You honor them. They ain't plastic. You don't throw them away. You ever think about getting old? Of course I do. You want to be in that rest home, Cheryl? Huh? Is that what you want? It could happen to you. You want your kids to put you in a damn room someday? Could have set the house on fire. But I didn't, and that's what counts. About got this little old puddle jumper started. Plug was bad in it. I'm gonna open up the windows, clear out the smoke. Good thinking. What happened? Left a still in the fire. I've done that before. That ain't nothing. Man's gonna kill us both. Oh, God. Oh. Wow. How'd you get that? You wear that all the time? What do you want? I want to ride bulls. Like, like you do. Oh, yeah. I don't think your mama's going to be too excited about your riding bulls. That's why I came out to see you. I thought if I could get you to help me, it might, uh, you know, smoothen things out with her. Yeah, well, I guess might. Now look, 
We're gonna have to have a little understanding first. I don't want to never hear you talking back to your mama. Me? Whoa, whoa. I never want to hear you talking vulgar. I don't. Give me that dip. What? In your back pocket, son. Hand it over. I don't want you using this stuff, neither. like a bull's hide, plus it's give you something to dig your spurs into, hang on with it. You got grommets there, 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 and there. Attach this one with a rope, that post there, one to that one there, one. Yes, sir. Him and his buddies, they'd put one of these things together every weekend. They'd ride it till they wore it out or somebody got an arm broke. What happened, Virgil? He said he was going to load a ditch over Mrs. Miller's house. He and a woman in a Ford station wagon, they hit the bridge about the same time. He veered off and hit the bridge railing. <laughs> Just about scared her to death. He didn't hurt her? No, no, he didn't even touch the car. I don't think they're at the track either. It's up Mustang gas. Hand me that pipe, sir. You know what they do with this? No. What in the hell is that in your ear? Well, they take this pipe and they make a place for your knee on each side of this barrel. That way you ride a little better. Yeah, it ain't quite around. Thanks, Virgil. I really appreciate this. Anytime, shotgun. Get that rope there and tie on that post right there. Man, sink on me. I'm glad we did this. Me too. <laughs> so, um, 
How's Judd doing on the rig? Good. He's learning the same way I did. Good. <laughs> I had some big dreams in them days. Sure did. Tell me this. All those years on the road, think it was worth it? on that bull and everything's going right right then is the best you know what I'm saying not really <sighs> okay like okay like race car drivers and pilots people like that are running machines that are built to be controlled Bull's uncontrolled. He don't want me on his back. He wants me on the ground where he can dance on me. He's wild and free. Just a part of nature. And sometimes when the chute opens, they turn us loose. Just sometimes. Something magic happens. seconds I get to be wild and free and I control and when I make that ride and then I hit the ground and raise my hands and everybody yells it is worth it Yes, yes, I remember. What's wrong? You broke my heart when you left. Took a long time trying to get over you, H.D. And I met someone else. Thank God for Ed. Forgot about you. I never forgot about you. <laughs> well, that's hard to prove by me. Would you, did you think I was just here frozen in time waiting for you to come back? You think the world just stops because you're not around? You can't leave me and then walk back into town and just pick up where you left off. There's been a lot of living going on. While you've been out chasing your dreams, I've been stuck here, standing still. And it hasn't all been fun and it's been lonely. I needed you. And you left. All you ever needed were your damned rodeos. And now you think you can just waltz right back into my life and take me for uh, some dancing and a little dinner into the grocery store and bring me out under the stars. I mean, is that what you think you can... <sighs> well, you're probably right, but you're the only one that could...
think your dad's been watching? Yeah, you can bet on Good night, Mr. Dalton. Good night, Jolie. <laughs> He was the biggest, meanest looking bull I've ever seen in my life. Looks like a nightmare from hell. He had me trapped. There wasn't nothing I could do but face him. So I stood my ground. I knew there was only one way to stop him, but I didn't have time. Because there was 2,000 pounds of hide and horns to run at me. You know what I did, son? I dove into that ground like a rock. And I reached up and I grabbed a handful of testicles. You know what testers are, son? Balls. Balls. Stop that bastard right in his tracks. Moral to my story is, son, you've got him with balls. You can stop him on a dime. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a lot of help. Come on, Judge. We've got some work to do. Sure, right away. Yeah, right now. He was hurt. Come on in. You want some coffee? Mm. What's going on? What's going on? Sit down. That's why I asked you to come over here this morning, because I thought maybe you could tell me what's going on. I don't understand. You don't understand? That's the problem. You don't understand. Let me help you. Now I'm going to put this on your terms. The way I figure it, I've already struck out twice. So I was wondering if last night was strike three. Last night was wonderful. It was wonderful. How wonderful was it, H.D.? Was it wonderful enough to keep you here? You know, I was touched when you told me that you felt bad about Ed's accident. And then I remembered that I never even heard from you. You didn't call me. You didn't write me a letter. You didn't even ask any of my friends how I was doing. I guess you were just at one of your rodeos down in Arkansas or Texas. Jolie, what are you talking about? All of you cowboys, you're all alike. You just shuffle in and you grin and you never grow up. You're all hat and you're no cattle. I'm hurting HD. I just want to know if it's going to stop. What are we doing? What are we doing? Just tell me what we're doing. Well, you know me, Jolly. I never did know what to say to a woman till after midnight. I didn't mean that. I really didn't mean that. Please don't cry. Don't feel bad. Please. Why, H.D.? Because it's too real for you. I am real. And I come with baggage. I've got two kids. And I'm looking for more than just a good time on a Saturday night. Me too. Oh, really? I never knew till right now. What? I love you. I'm 
in love with you. And I ain't leaving. I ain't going nowhere. Sure, you ain't gonna get hungry on me and be starving before I get back. Nope. Good enough. I'm going to Cheryl's. Well, be sure and give my best to your brother-in-law, Clint. How do you want your steak, Teresa? As long as I ain't breathing. Okay. Whoa, how do you like my bug bite? Bugs flying to that and fry like burgers. I hate this thing. I wish you'd turn it off. Well, Cheryl, that's what's keeping the bugs out of the meat. Okay? H.G., we heard about Daddy's accident. Is he all right? Oh, he asked nothing. He just got a bloody nose. <clears throat> he wanted to ignore it, so that's what I did. Something awful's going to happen to him. Okay. Let's take a walk. Okay. Rex? Yo. Come on, barbecue. Absolutely. Let's go around the house. HD? This is the right thing to do. I haven't wanted to tell you this, but it's costing us a fortune to keep him at the rest of week. And Medicare is not paying a dime. Yeah, you got nothing to worry about because he ain't going to be there. Listen to me. I would do anything for Jesse. But the way the government's got everything all screwed up, it's just plain silly for his land to sit there while it could be working for him. It's just not good business. What the hell is he talking about? I'll tell you what we're talking about. I don't know if Daddy's told you. He probably doesn't even remember it. But he signed his power of attorney over to me. Now, I don't want to do it this way, H.D., but I will if I have to. I want you to work with us on this. But Daddy should be in that home. Yeah. Oh, I understand. You don't want to sell him out, but you just might have to. No, she don't care. Nobody, no, nobody cares. Oh. When did that happen? No, what difference does it make? None, I guess. Yeah, you get hurt, you get up, you go on. That's rodeo. At least you could have told me. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but I'll be hurting just the same. Sometimes it helps to share your pain, son. It's my pain. I'm the one that's got to live with it. That's just like you. You're just going to do what you want to do. What are you yelling at? Well, you're not going to tell anybody anything. You're not going to listen to anybody. Well, listen? That's all I ever did with you is listen. Listen to me? Hell yes, listen. You told me everything. You told me what schools I should go to. You told me what sports I should play. You even goddamn told me when to ride. You had the answer to everything. I thought that's what a father was supposed to do, help his kids with their decisions. Yeah, that was your decisions, not mine. Never once you asked me what I wanted to do. We talked all the time. No, we didn't. You talked, I listened. That's all I ever did was listen. Well, I didn't look at that that way. You never asked. I thought I understood what you wanted. I didn't know it was to get rid of me. Wait, get rid I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to be with you. I did the best I could for you kids. But going down the road wasn't any place for a family man, so I stayed home. I left, you stayed. I did it, you didn't even try. You, you put that goddamn guilt trip on me because I did what you was never able to do.
was your mom, son. The truth is, with her, I didn't want to leave. And then we lost her. And then you left. I'm here now. I'm still hurting, son. We just got to figure out some way to get along. I just don't know what to say anymore. And you could say you're going to make me the best damn hamburger I ever had without burning down the damn house. <laughs> yeah, I'll put just a little touch of chili sauce on it. <laughs> Basted in beer, smothered in garlic. What are you doing here? Franken? I was looking for you. I saw your pickup. Something wrong? Well, I haven't heard from you. Well, the other day, you said... And then I didn't see you, and I didn't... You didn't call, and... You're always here. H.D., you scared the shit out of me. I thought you'd change your mind. Not about us. Never. Just about money. I gotta get my hands on a lot of money to fight my sister. And the only way I know how to do that is to ride the damn bulls. You're already broken up. It's too dangerous. You can't go back to that. Jolie, it's the only thing I know how to do. It's the only thing I can do. Matter, son. Uh, everything's just crowding in on me, pushing me for answers. All the answers involve money. They usually do. I think I'm going to go after that big money, Bull Mania. I know that all sounds sweet, but are you sure you're up to it? No, sir. I'm going to need some help. All right, son. Let's rise and shine. It ought to be 10 miles from here in a long trot. Come on, let's go. Put them all back with a game, bro. Son, roping is like dancing. Once you get out of time, you probably won't catch it. Get back there just a little. That's that's man. Now you watch where my hand is when I deliver that rope. <laughs>
trying to get my head right. Let's go. punishment. Yeah. Looks like he's in the army. Going to war. I don't know what's got to do with bull riding. It's just a small part of the big picture, Virgil. Is it help? You would have made a hell of a football coach. Dirty, don't she, son? Sure does. Too much today. Why not? Well, if it keeps on raining, it'll be all wet and muddy. They don't cancel rodeos for wet and muddy, son. Especially when there's a hundred thousand dollars involved. If you're going to be a rodeo hand, you better keep using that thing. That's better. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Listen to me. I'm your friend. Yeah? But I got my job to do. I got a call from Cheryl. In the morning, she's gonna get a court order. A restraining order. That protects your daddy from you. What are you, what are you talking about? It means you can't go near your father. you something bad was going to happen, but no, you wouldn't listen to me. It was an accident. I know it was an accident, H.D., an accident that wouldn't have happened if you left him alone where he belonged. Yeah, where he could rot away and die from neglect, that'd be fine. Well, it ain't going to happen, Cheryl, it ain't. Look, H.D., if you want to kill yourself, that's fine. You just go right ahead. But you are not taking my father with you.
Here's David Burton next to go on one call, Big Ben. Here's another angle. Guys, don't like to draw him. Slam for the back. Everything's set to go here.
out of the arena, and this man is hurt. We're waiting to hear if H. Deep's injury is going to keep him from trying to ride. him luck. Tell HD to kick ass. Get out of the way. Yes, if we still have power. Not turn. now, you. Thank <laughs> you. 